Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to go over how to plan a UI design project. I'm going to go over all the beginning stages that I do in a UI design project with you. And then in another video, we're going to take that and actually make a design from it. In this video, we're going to go over things like brainstorming, coming up with ideas and planning, creating mood boards, and actually setting up some ideas before we wireframe. Before we get started, if you're new here, I'm a UI UX designer and I create design related content every single week. So make sure you're subscribed for more content just like this. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started with today's tutorial. So when I first start any design related project, I like to use a program called Milanote to plan and organize the project. The first thing I do is create some simple to do items. This helps me divide up the workflow so I can stay on task and I don't get overwhelmed with the project start. I found when I get overwhelmed in the beginning of projects, it can lead to creative block. So by dividing the project up into smaller steps, for me personally, it helps minimize my chance for creative block. So the first step on our to-do list is research. And when I'm doing my research, I like to come up with some goals and main points. That way I can think about those the entire time throughout the design process and planning process so that my finished product reflects these goals and main points. So in this design tutorial, we're going to be creating a Bengal tiger endangered species page. So we want to update it with a modern fill and every page should showcase the beauty of that animal because we want people to fill for these animals because if nothing changes, they will go extinct. So some main points is we want users to act. So they need to understand the problem and have a way to easily provide help for the problem. I also did some research into Bengal tigers, which is the landing page we're gonna create throughout this tutorial. And I got some information and I also got some statistics. I separated the stats up from the copy text because we want these stats to stand out. So I might want to come up with a visual way to display that. I also went ahead and did some competitor research. So I found two websites of endangered species lists and I've added those links to our mill note board so we can access them at any time to see what our competitors have done. So once I feel I've done enough research, I'll go ahead and check off that to do item and move on to the next one, which is usually brainstorming. And for brainstorming, I just like to sit and think about all the research I've done and try to come up with creative and unique ideas and jot them down in Milanote. And this is why I like Milanote so much. When I come to this stage and I'm coming up with my ideas, it's like adding post-it notes to a wall or writing on a whiteboard. I can arrange things however I want. If I want some visual hierarchy, I can do that, or I can just throw them around freely in this space and I'm not confined to a simple list like in most note taking apps. So for our project, some of the ideas I came up with is creating a visual way to show the animal stats. Again, going back to why I separated them from the copy text. Next is creating a simple search navigation so the user can search the website for any animal just to make sure their favorite animal is not on the endangered species list, or if it is, they can easily find their animal. Next is a way to showcase that quote unquote beauty of the animal. And I'm going to do this with one third of their screen reserved for the animal. Next, maybe going with serif fonts instead of sans serif for more of a modern look. And then I also want to have the how you can help button very subtle. So the user doesn't feel the website is like demanding money. And lastly, for a little bit of uniqueness, I thought about lower casing the heading first word. So uh, that way it would look a little bit more unique. So once I was done coming up with my ideas, I was really happy with how many ideas I actually had for this project. So I wanted to do a sketch to kind of visually represent this before we actually start wireframing the project. So I added that sketch to our to-do list. And now we're at the point where I like to start to organize because our board is looking really messy. So I just started by grabbing the ideas and grouping them into a column. And I did the same thing with all the other related content, such as competitors and brief. So when I start organizing, I like to see things visually. So I'm adding an arrow to kind of show the progression throughout the entire project because I like to utilize Milanote as kind of my project hub. So I will be coming back here multiple times throughout this project and I want it to be organized. So the next item currently on our to-do list is to create a sketch. Before I do that, I'm going to create a mood board so I can get some good ideas and it's gonna help me create a better sketch for our design. So we can also create our mood board inside of Milanote. I'm going to drag out their mood board template because it's a really great starting place. I'm even going to add a tiger icon and change it obviously to orange because it looks cool and why not? Inside of this mood board, they give us some example content that can be cleared and filled with our own content. So first off, I'm going to use their built in image searching to pull up some images of Bengal tiger that I can get some inspiration from and kind of maybe think about using as that one third image I talked about in my ideas. 
Also, I can drag in my own images as well. I have one from Adobe Stock that I really like because it's got a white background and I won't have to worry about cropping it out as much as some of these other ones. But I do like to have a wide variety of images available so I can test different ones out and see how I want to do it in my design. I also found a nice font pairing and so I'm gonna drag in an image of that and we might actually use these in our design. The first one is a serif font called Playfair Display and that's gonna be paired with Roboto which we're gonna use possibly as the body font. So I like to get a good idea of how I'm gonna see the fonts in my head when I start my sketch and even my wireframe. So that's a good thing to have in my mood board as well. I also went ahead and came up with some basic colors. We can tweak these later in the design, but I actually sampled the tiger and got this brownish orange color. And then I'm using two just different shades of gray that I'll know I'll probably have to use for the heading and body text because I wanna keep this modern and I wanna keep as little color as I can and mainly focus on the tiger image and that highlight color, that brownish orange. I also kept this mood board very minimal. I didn't include other landing page designs because this is a newer style for me and I wanted to see what I could come up with and really challenge my creativity with this one. So we'll go back to our main mill note board for our design project and check off mood board. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start to create some other boards. The first one is going to be housing the sketch since that's our next step. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create one for wireframe and we'll have our wireframes in there later on. I'm also gonna go ahead and group these together into a column and just call this design. So we're gonna have all of our design boards in this column. Inside of the sketch board, I'm going to paste in a very basic sketch that I did and this is kind of the pre-wireframe. It's gonna give me a good visual so when I start wireframing, I'm not just starting from scratch. So I'm gonna go through in middle note and make some simple comments explaining what these elements are so that when I go to design this, I already have some of the functionality worked out. So with our sketch, I added some of the ideas I came up with earlier such as the one third image. So it's kind of one third of the overall screen. I added the lowercase words into the heading. That's why I actually have the heading text written out. And in the top right corner, I added the search and on the mid right side, I'm going to display the stats. So those are just some of the ideas that made their way into the sketch. Since we're done with our sketch, we can head back over to our to-do list and check off create a sketch. The very last thing I'm gonna do here in Milano is create a empty column called design files. And this is where I'm going to back up all of my Adobe XD design files. And if I was working with a team, they can easily access them and download them from here. So this is what our completed planning stage looks like here in Millnote, and that is how to plan a UI design project. In the next video, the second part to this, we're gonna go ahead and start designing our endangered species Bengal Tiger landing page. So that's it for this video. Thank you to Millinote for making this video possible. If you'd like to check out Millinote for your next creative project, I have a link at the top of the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you click that thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe for more design related content. Make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.